Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're doing some nails again today. Um, on my nails, um, I have Color Club. Uh, get a clue. So originally I was gonna use this one. Um, so I actually have one coat of this one. Come on, focus. I think it's Chantilly Lace, if it'll ever focus. There we go. Chantilly Lace. But it was like clear, clear. <laughs> it was like, okay, no, now we're not going clear. So I did this one. So I have like three, I don't know, three, four coats of this one. And then a top coat. So what I'm going to do, why is my camera freaking... Um, is I'm going to paint some stars. I'm going to practice doing some stars. I was watching uh, Miss Jo Nail Co. Miss Jo. Um, she, was it her New Year's one or something? So, and then I asked my husband, I'm like, what should I do for nails? And then he's got a, a little frog box and it has stars all over it. So he's like, do some stars. So, as it is um, and I'm gonna hand paint them believe it or not I haven't hand paint I've been trying to get back into hand painting because I haven't been doing it for a while um, once I got the hang of stamping I was like woohoo here we go so we're gonna see how this goes I'm gonna do it in black and um, yeah so brush I am currently using is my nail stuff brush that has my name on it and this length I don't know what length this is um, I was gonna mention when um, I'm using like I use regular polish when I'm painting um, I will clean it off with acetone and then I rinse them off in water and then after that I will put um, some cuticle oil on just to keep them um, from like fraying and all that. So I figured I would share with you how I keep care of my brushes. So I'm just gonna pour myself some acetone because I forgot to do that. So I just have some acetone in my little elephant and I'm using knockout for the black so I'm just putting a little piece on some tin foil and then I'm running my brush through so <laughs> let's see how this goes I haven't, I was practicing on paper, so let's see how this goes. I might do a couple with you, and then I might um, if they don't turn out all that well, or I might fast forward if I take forever. Not too bad. I'm sure there's a better way from making them wonky. Just fill in the. I think I gotta go watch your video again. <laughs> So one down. <laughs> this is gonna take me a while. So Oops. 
Uh, must do dip. He's got six points on him. Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have done that one. Okay, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and just so I don't bore you guys too much. There's a better way of doing them. You have to go look it up. Probably helps if I was looking at a star. <laughs> that might help. Problem is, I use. I'm using polish too, so. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I kind of fixed him so he's not so, so bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Stars are hard. <laughs> it's like, holy. I just want to do a little guy here. So after this, I want to add some stuff to my little heart stars. That's not bad. That one turned out okay. Not the best, but oh, I shouldn't have flicked them around, so I made them worse. Do, do, do. So I'm going to fast forward the next little bit, that way I don't bore you too much, and then we'll come back when I'm done. I'm just filling in this. Okay, one moment.
Okay, so here's what I've got so far. I managed to fix that one. Why am I my camera? So it doesn't look too bad. I found him better with the bigger ones. Like by the time I got to my thumb, they look pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry. We're gonna, I'm gonna top coat them and then I'm gonna come back to decorate them a little bit more. Um, yeah, so far, I'm pleased. Okay, um, I will be back. So I'm back. Now, um, I've top coated and they're dry. So what I'm gonna do on the stars, I have this Imay Lee temperature changing ink. And so I haven't used it since I, you know, for a while since I got it. Um, I did it on gel polish and stuff. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to use it on regular polish or not, but we're gonna do it. Um, so hopefully it's still good. This stuff is air dry, so I put it in a little baggie, put it back in the box, just because this stuff is expensive as heck. Like, <laughs> seriously, it was like 20 bucks. So that's why originally, um, my friend Nails of Interest, she she got me this little one and she tried to mail it to me and the envelope got mailed back to her and then I broke down and I bought one anyway. Um, and then, so I'm gonna use this one just cause I don't wanna open that one yet. That's kind of depressing. Hmm. Well, I may leave. That frickin' sucks. <laughs> okay. I guess. I used to want this. Sorry, I'm pissed up. That shit was expensive. Okay, we're gonna break into the one that Nails of Interest sent me. <laughs> so hopefully, this this is air dry stuff, so you gotta be super careful with it. So I figured by putting it in a little baggie, putting it back, I'd be safe, but apparently not. Okay, hang on while I get this puppy open. One sec. Okay, I got it open. I'm op only opening like a little tiny spot. Worry. <laughs> the stuff is like gold. So now, I'm gonna, you don't need a whole lot of this stuff. Like you only need like a little bitty amount. Hopefully it'll work on my nails. I'm glad that Nails of Interest sent me another one. I knew I should have played with that stuff more. That's just a little sad that, you know, the 
but it dried up on me. Doo doo doo. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? You doing okay? I'm like all tense now. <laughs> Like, I'm trying to hurry. So, do you guys have plans for New Year's? Like, hopefully you're not going out, because I think most places are kiboshing all that. But, Abby and I always, we do Appy Night. We usually do Appy Night. Uh, Christmas Eve and then we also do it on um, New Year's Eve and then we watch movies we don't really we're not really big drinkers or anything so oh, I forgot this I forgot this little star Yeah, so we're not really big drinkers. I mean, I, you know, back when I was in, in my twenties, yeah, sure, I'd go to the bar and whatever. But I don't know. There's just so much hype on it. Now I'm lucky if I can stay awake. <laughs> it's like, if I do, it's like midnight, and then it's like, okay, good night. I'm going to bed. Okay, now, I should tape that, maybe I'll tape that over. That way. I don't know, will that help? Screw the lid on. <laughs> Tight. Back in a little baggy. Squeeze out all the air. Okay. So, I think that one's starting to change. So, okay. And then the next plan is I got some glitter. This is Sassy Silver from Smiley6062. I got this from Nails of Interest uh, one last year, I believe, and I haven't used it. Okay, now I'm doing stuff. Ooh, whoa, it's way more than I wanted. All I want to do is put the little dots on. Uh, Um, see, it's starting to change. Can you see it? It's kind of, it reminds me of, I don't know if you guys had them when you were kids, but um, it reminds me of like the mood rings. So. so this is just pure ice um, and it's just a clear polish. Um, I just want it for like the little dots. I don't want fast dry because I don't want it to dry super quick, but I figured. I can see where I put. What do you think? Is it some sparkle? I feared, yeah. Something different. Kind of nice. 
like it. I like it. You can put whatever size glitter if you want, or you don't have to put glitter on. Uh, I don't know where I put. <laughs> I don't know where I put stuff. And what I do is I kind of push a little bit so it kind of sinks into the polish. Like not hard, but just to kind of anchor it in. I'm going to put one over there. Probably this is actually a really nice little glitter mix. I didn't realize it's got um, little triangles. It's got oh, it's got stars in it. It's got little hexagons. Okay, everything's sticking to. So yeah, that's a pretty cool little glitter mix. I'll have to use this one again. And it's hollow, so oh, now it's stuck to me. <laughs> I don't want to use you. Go back there. Just place them where I want, like no rhyme or reason on them, just to kind of fill in the little gaps, I guess. Look, can you see that? I'm hoping the camera picks them up. The colors are just freaking cool. Look at that. I'm glad. I'm kind of glad I did this. I was kind of struggling today because um, I was like, "What do I do? What do I? What do I want on my nails?" And then, and then I saw, um, and then. Um, I was watching Miss Jo, and she was doing stars, and then Hubby said, well, I'll do some stars. He really likes it when I hand paint. He thinks my stamping is cheating. I'm like, okay, you, you try stamping. It's not that easy. But, I don't know. He's like, you can do so well when you hand paint, so... He actually asked me when I came out, he's like, did you actually hand paint them? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I have proof. I have it on film. So my hearts aren't, or my stars aren't that wonky. There's a few. I really like my thumb. My thumb is pretty cool. I like the stars. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna wait till this dries and then I will top coat it. But yeah, I think it looks cool. What do you think? You can do different designs. The only thing I found um, with using this um, Femo Chromatic powder or liquid is if you do the entire nail it has a tendency to peel up um, so they tell you not to do the whole nail um, or and don't do it on edges so this one should be okay 
because it's not quite on the edge but um, yeah so that's the only thing so don't put them right to your free edge and you know um, you might have a chance of it peeling up even if you like double or triple top coat it because um, I did do it on one whole nail and it, and it peeled up within like a day so okay so I will come back in a minute once this is totally dry but I'm thinking this is freaking cool I'm liking these so what do you think do you like them okay hang on one sec okay so I just put top coat on it I did add a little bit more um, because I noticed in a couple spots um, that um, I had some like little air pockets but um, so it's kind of cold at the moment because I just put the top coat on but you can kind of see okay if I stop moving you can kind of see it drying and coming back to life but I really like how it turned out. It actually turned out pretty cool. What do you think? Okay, so stay tuned for swatch photos. I will put some at the end. And then, of course, I have puppies. We gave them all baths yesterday. And, um,. So and I have I bought this little grooming station so I can sit them up and then blow dry them. Um, the blow dryer kind of freaks them out a little bit, but um, they were really good. And they smell so nice now. They're so soft and fluffy and smell awesome. So okay. Anyway, look, it's starting to come back to life. So what do you think? Do you think it turned out okay? Um, anyway, I hope you guys are staying safe and you're doing well and um, doing everything you can to protect yourself. Okay, I love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye. Daisy. <laughs> <laughs>